the evacuated tube system. The first step after you have checked the requisition, introduce yourself, identify the patient and palpated the site is wiping the site with alcohol. Prepare your equipment as the site dries. Start by firming in and putting gloves on. Then apply your tourniquet. Pick up the needle, break the seal, and check for manufacturer defects. Anchor the vein and insert the needle at a 45 degree angle with the bevel to the sky. Insert tube into the hub to collect blood. Wait until the tube is full, then invert based on the tube top. Remove the tourniquet after the last tube. Have the gauze ready and place over the needle as it is removed. Have the patient apply pressure. Cap the needle and place in the sharps container. Label the tube with first and last name, date, and time of collection. Then place the specimen in the biohazard bag to be transferred to the lab. Check the site to see if bleeding has stopped. If it has stopped, apply tape or coban to the site. Remove gloves, foam out, and thank the patient. The syringe. The initial steps of venipuncture are the same for the syringe. Once you have inspected the syringe, insert at a 45 degree angle bevel to the sky. To collect blood, pull on the syringe slowly. The removal procedure is the same. Transfer the specimen into the appropriate tube. Invert if necessary. Dispose of the syringe in the sharps container. The final steps are the same.
the butterfly needle. The initial steps of venipuncture are the same for the butterfly needle, otherwise known as the winged infusion set. After you have inspected the needle, grasp the hub, hold the wings with index finger and thumb, and insert at a 45 degree angle bevel to the sky. Once inserted, you may release the butterfly and insert the tube into the hub. Invert if necessary. Removal procedure is the same, as well as the final steps. Thanks for watching.